Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Libra, this is your October full month love and general situation reading for you, Libra. I hope you are well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for the Libra sign. This is for the Libra friends out there. Thank you so much, Libra, for coming back. Thank you so much for your support. Yes, viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. And if you would like to further connect with me, I invite you, Libra, to check out the description box below. You will see the details of my website. You will see the details of the products and the services that um, we offer outside of the YouTube platform. This reading for today, this is for Libra. Let's see what's coming towards you. What is the message for Libra, please, in love, career, finance, and general situationship? This is full month reading. Ooh, you've got a king of wands. Okay. <clears throat> What's coming towards you? What is the message for Libra, please? <clears throat> oh, you've got the Ten of Cups. The Tower card. This is the Four of Cups. The Hermit card. You've got the Judgment card. And the Three of Cups. <clears throat> This is a full mark reading. This card wanted to come out. Seven of Pentacles. You have the Knight of Cups. And you've got the Queen of Swords. Okay, let's start your reading, Libra. Um, so you have the King of Wands. You're starting... You're starting the reading with um, a king of wands. Like it's a jump start, okay? Um, I feel like you're entering the month of October with full of enthusiasm. You're full of energy. Um, there is a part of you that you would like to... There's some sort of decision or maybe person, a situation, a project that you're looking into jump start. Okay, King of Wands, you know, let me just move this. Um, I feel like it's not a good idea to revisit a situation, a person, a project, an idea. It could also be a travel plan because you've got the World Guard and the Ten of Swords. So something is really pushing you to kind of look at it again, to revisit, to consider. And this time around, you're very... You're feeling very optimistic and positive positive about the person, the situation. I feel like it is the right time for you to do it again, to revisit it, maybe to apply, maybe to travel. Um, there is a part of you that somehow you have moved on from something that was difficult and now you can face the person, you can face the same thing again or, you know, you, you've gone through a transformation for some of you guys and you can really confidently say that I can you know I could I could face the person I could face the situation I know how to solve it it could also be like you you might be working on a prop project maybe a project maybe a business and it was so stressful now it's you feel like it's the best time for you to revisit to reconnect or rekindle um, maybe an old flame, maybe something in the past that you were really feeling passionate about, the world card, the ten of swords. And the universe is giving you a blessing that you have the attitude, you have the energy, and you have with you the learnings and the skills to revisit an old flame, to rekindle, to, to proceed, you know, like to something to do with continuing like a continuation of something that was so special and passionate and in the past you've dealt with it with you know a little bit of immaturity and also it was really a wrong timing now there is a sense of relief that because you have an understanding king of wands world card ten of swords you have now an understanding about why things didn't fall into places 
and now you're looking into it and you're you're now having the knowledge the skills the i don't know this could be an entrepreneurship but you will encounter or you will make a move to jump start something connected in the past if it's not you making the move um there is someone or the universe is going to bring you back into an old flame, rekindling an old project, an idea, plan. And you're so ready for this. Okay? Yeah, four of wands. Surely this is a success. You're so ready for this. You have moved on. You have shaken off all of the bad vibe connected to this person or situation or travel. You have this fresh breath of air to four of wands to really handle the situation like you so you're full of confidence that you can handle the situation or business or person okay there is some sort of renewal in here if it's if it's not you making the move they will come for you libra okay now you got a ten of cups the tower card the four of cups and this is what i'm talking about is that in the month of october your happiness there would be a shake up you know in the month of october you feel like it's a little bit I feel like the month of October for you, it's exciting, it is fun, but you don't see or feel a huge highs of maybe project, people, person, situation, travel. Don't underestimate it because somewhere in the month of October, Libra, your happiness, something will really make you happy, so, so happy, and it will come as a breakthrough tower card because this is you four of cups you know you find the month of october oh this is easy relax fun you're kind of looking into a challenge you're looking for something you know above and beyond exciting you don't have to look for that because they will come for you there is going to be a person a situation a project career an invitation something in the middle of october will come as a breakthrough it will shake up your foundation. It will shake up your boring day or boring week. And it will really make you happy. Ten of Cups. Okay? I'm picking up. It could be for some of you. You might be chosen to be sent off in a career that you dream of. It could also be a person where you have been waiting for this person to confirm, to date you, something official. It will come through as a breakthrough. It will come to you mid of October in a day in a week where you're quite bored and you're kind of looking into what's next for me universe you know what is my next project what is my next challenge so i can grow i can develop you know you don't have to look for that they will follow you you have a breakthrough person situation offer mid of october and it's really going to make you happy it's going to keep you going it will inspire you it's a little bit of a challenge it's a little bit of a, I feel like it's, there is something that you need to manage. This is something that you need to work into it, but it will make you happy. It's a, it's a feeling of, okay, this is a new thing, or this is something that came back for me. I'll work hard for it. I'll take care of it and I'll keep it. I'll manage it because it makes me happy. Ten of cups. So the universe will give you something unique, something of a breakthrough. Could be a person, a situation, an offer. It will come to you in a day, in a week where you feel like it's so boring. No, it's not. The universe felt like you're ready. You know, sometimes you feel like oh, nothing is happening. You just wait. The universe is just is, is giving you some sort of rest, you know. And this is it. The tower card will come along for you. Okay, a breakthrough. A major breakthrough that you... Like, it, it's a feeling, Libra, where a day, a week... What's happening to my life? You know, you have this reflection or thinking process. What's happening to my life? And the next day, boom, you've got a tower card, the ten of cups. This is what's happening to your life. The universe felt that you're ready. You're ready for your next big adventure, career move, or you're ready to have something official, you know, personally, romantically. But there's a breakthrough. Each one of you will be different. But I feel like it's a breakthrough. It's something that will really make you happy. And um, you've got the Hermit card. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could also be dealing with a Scorpio. The Judgment card, the Three of Cups. Um, the Hermit card, there is a male 
older than you or maybe the same age, they hermited you, okay? Somehow, there was an offer or a person or a situation that was, it was taking so long for this offer person situation to decide, the hermit card. Um, it's taking them so long to decide. Um, at some point, you kind of give up or you don't want to think about it because it's frustrating, frustrating you. Now, this person, this male specifically, they will now make a decision. Um, it could be like they will approve your leave. They will approve you to relocate. They will now tell you exactly what they feel, what they think. And I think it is in your favor, three of cups, you know. It's possible that this person will date you again. It's possible that this person will invite you out and talk about it. There's something of a reunion. There's something of a reunion, uh, dating, um, seeing each other and expressing to you how they feel, how they think, and their decision. It's the decision of this person. Whatever this is, it's coming around end part of October. The decision is not entirely what you expect. You know, it, you wouldn't get a hundred percent of it. You know, whatever you require, this person offer situation of them to do towards you. It's not one hundred percent, but it's exactly what you need in the moment that you will get this offer person situation. You know, so it's kind of telling you it's a work in progress. Because the Three of Cups, it's kind of telling you, accept it. You know, there's something in here that it's negotiable, it's manageable, and it's evolving, it's changing. So for now, if it's not 100% of what you want, but it's manageable, it has 70% of what you want. It's not exactly what you expected, but it has something to hold on, to keep, to work on, you know. So be open, have an open heart, open mind, because... The judgment card, the three of cups, it looks like in the long term, probably end of November going to December, you will never regret that seven of pentacles you have invested with this person or situation. In short, it's like a slow burn and steady, like slow and steady. It doesn't come to you in one bulk of 100% you have it, but it's something that you need to work on. It's something that you would be collaboratively staying working connecting seven of pentacles it's worth investing of your time it came back for you you know it was stalemate in the past it came back for you it's almost ready it's in a, a finishing touches knight of cups you know because i feel like you might give up you might start this accept it and you might give up queen of swords it's telling you no you know it's there's something around the month of October. It's a wonderful news. It's a wonderful opportunity. It's a wonderful person. Um, this person is quite slow or this offers, it, it, it is quite slow in the making, but it's worth waiting. And the universe is really wanting you to be patient in terms of processing this or taking charge with it or connecting with it or dealing with it because it is something mature it is something loving. It is something close to your heart. And the reason why things are taking a little bit slow than expected, it's because it's long term. The effect of this is long term. It is security. So I want you to have an open, open mind, open heart, and don't give up because you have a future with this offer, business, job. It will pick up. The starting point, it's quite difficult to warm up. But as soon as it's comfortable, as soon as as soon as it reached the boiling point, it will never go down. So don't give up on this. Emotionally, mentally, it is yours. So don't give up. Okay? Don't give up. That's a very, very strong reading. Don't give up. And um that is your intuitive reading, Libra. Um I hope you have connected me with me i hope you like the reading and um it's a very exciting month for you it is a month where it looks like steady no panic no drama in the beginning of the month but as you go towards later in the month you will be you'll have this back-to-back -back offer but you need to work on it yeah i feel like this is this is one of your highlight of your 2022 you need to work 
on this situation. This needs you. And um, thank you guys. I'll see you soon. You have a great day. Bye-bye.